Hello, I'm Deb and I'm here to do a late night or not so late night craft with you today. Um, we are going to do some macrame. Uh, macrame is starting to come back in popularity. It's kind of fun to do, really simple, easy. This project here only has two knots, a square knot and another one we call a lark spar knot. So very simple, easy to do, quick. You only need a few supplies. Um, three kinds of yarn, which we'll get into in a minute, something to measure with, and a pair of scissors. So quick and easy. And then I just found a stick out in my yard after some of the windstorms we just had up here. Or you can use a dowel. So not many supplies needed and quick and easy to do. Uh, there, You can use, as far as like your yarn and string goes, you can use just regular yarn. They do make specific macrame cord, which you can use if you want to do that, or if you just have three colors of yarn that coordinate around the house. Our yarn comes in different thicknesses, so I just want to go over that real quick before we get started. We have like the thinner yarns, which are four millimeters, they're kind of thin, your regular yarn that you would think of. That's what this one is using, the four millimeter yarn, so you can see it's just you know, nice, light, a little more delicate of a look. Or you can go with the chunkier yarns, which I have here. Um, and this is a six millimeter thread, so it's a lot thicker. And that's what I used on this. So you can see you get like bigger, chunkier pieces of um, material. So it just makes a little bit different statement piece. Either size is okay, it's what you prefer. The thicker yarns will give you chunkier, bigger knots, and the thinner yarns will give you a more delicate, light, um, tighter knot. So we will get started, and um, I'll give you a supply list here. Before we get started any further, you need three colors of yarn, a base color or white, a neutral, and then a dark contrast type color that we have over here. Um, you need a dowel or a tree branch, like I said, some scissors, a measuring tape. So the yarn thickness that I used here is the white and the blue are both in the six millimeter or a more chunkier type thread. You can see that on the blue here. You can see it's a little bit thicker. And then um, my neutral color, you can tell when they're both together, is a little bit light. Um, thinner. That's a four millimeter. You can use the um, um, macrame cord if you want. I have a little bit of twine here that I'm going to use for my hanger from the wall. And that's about it. So just grab three, three different colors of yarn or you can pick them up at your local craft stores. They do have um, smaller rolls for a couple dollars so it's not a big investment to do this project and you can get a couple wall hangings out of it. Okay, now the first thing to get started is you need to cut your yarn into the lengths that are needed. So we're going to need eight strands of white that are 100 inches long, 30 strands of your beige or na your neutral color and your dark, or in this case it's blue. That's 15 of each color, 80 inches long on those. Then we just need four strands, two of each color in the white or light and beige, your medium color, 70 inches each of those. And then we'll need 12 strands of yarn, six of each in the white and beige, and those are 60 inches each. And you can just go ahead and pause the video while you get those all cut. And then next when we come back, we will start working on making our two knots and, and then start doing our little wall hanging. Okay, so now that you have all of your strands cut and ready to roll, um, we're going to get started. So the first thing I did is I just picked a stick here that I found out in the yard and decided it was about the right length and thickness that I would use. Now you can do this setting it on the table if you prefer. I like it being um, upright. I find it's a little easier to work with. So all I did here was I hooked my twine around a hanger here 
and then just drop the hanger over the back of a chair. Um, you know, whatever little hook you can make that gets it to stay there or however you want to do it is actually the right way. So now we're going to take our six strands that were a hundred inches long of the white thread and that is what we are going to use right now to make our first knot which we call the lark lark's bar knot so you want to take it behind and keep that little loop like this and just pull your thread through it or your yarn and go ahead and tighten it up and that's it so that's knot number one and we're going to do that with all six strands, but we are going to um, put them in groups of two. Or I'm sorry, we have eight strands. So you want to go from the top and down just to get your knot so that the knot part is on the front right here, if you can see that. So we go down through the bottom, put your loop on the bottom, or go across the back, put your loop on the bottom, and then just pull your yarn through. Ooh, sorry. Um pull your yarn through and there's one and then we're going to do that um, with the remaining yarn that we have until we have four groups of two so one more time put it down behind so you have the loop behind and just pull it through and then just tighten them up onto your stick so that you can see your little knots in the front and that is knot number one that you need to know in order to do this project okay we've got all of our pieces on we're ready to do a square knot now so I want you to take the three sections to the right just move them off to the side we're not going to use them right this second I want you to take the last four pieces, our two lark spars here. We're going to use the outside ones, so I like to bunch them up a little bit. And we're ready to go. So we're going to take the right one. It's going over the two in the middle, under the one on the left. Now this one's going to go back underneath everything and come out on top of this little sail that we had on the left of, or on the right over here. And then we're just going to take them and pull them straight up like that. So that's half of it. Now we're going to do the opposite. We're going to take this left one and we're going to put it um, across the two in the middle underneath the one on the right. Then we're going to take the right one and it's going to go back up underneath everything underneath these two in the middle and out through the hole through our little sail. And then we just pull it tight and we have a square knot and now we set those four aside bring back our next four and we will do this again so I'll go through it with you one more time so we have our four strings we want to separate our two on the side from our two in the middle bunch up the outside ones bunch up right one take the two right over top of the two in the middle make a little sail and bring it behind that one on the left right there now you take the one on the left you want to bring it up behind the two and out through the sail on the other side and there we go and then just tighten it up to the top now we're halfway there we want to do it one more time we want to start with the left side bring that up over two in the middle and underneath the right one now we're going to take the right one bring it up underneath the two in the middle out through the little sail that we made on the side over there get these little strings straight and pull it up and we got a knot and then you just want to repeat that on these next two
Okay, so now we have our four knots along the top and we're ready to move on to the next step. So the first thing I want you to do is take the two on the left side, put them off to the side. Same with the two on the right. You can either rubber band them and move them out or just move them off to the side. Now what we want to do is find our, put these in a row. We want the next four. So the two from the first one, two from the second one. And I'm just going to move the rest of these aside a little bit. And we're going to do another square knot. So we have two in the middle. We're going to take our one on the right and our one on the left. And we're going to make a square knot. So we're going to do across the middle and underneath the one on the left. Up through the side. And there we go. Now this one we're not going to pull all the way up. Um, we're just gonna get those a little tight. This is where we're gonna start putting our designs. So however far down you wanna go, um, you know, like an inch or two. And then we're gonna make our square knot. This is why you move them out of the way. <laughs> Finish it off. Left side over the top or over the middle, underneath the, the right, and then down underneath, pull it up. And tighten it up, and we've got a knot. Okay, now we are going to do the next two. We're going to do the same thing. Separate these into two on the right and left. Get rid of the ones that are rightmost. And we don't need those. Well, just a little bit so we can kind of... Um, eyeball so that our knots get in the same spot. So we want the, the right side and the left side. We're going to use two in the middle. We are not. Start with the right, up and over, underneath the left. The left goes underneath everything and up over the sail on the right. And then we just pull it up a little bit so that it's about even with the other one. And then we're going to do the same thing opposite. Over top of the two middle, underneath the one. Take the left one, everything goes under. And then we just tighten it up at about the same level as the other one was. And now we're going to do it. We can move these aside a little bit. And we'll do it one more time with the last two. Okay, so now we've got our three knots. Now we're gonna make the next row. So we're gonna do the same thing. Two on the left, we do not need anymore. The farthest two on the right, we do not need anymore. So now we're gonna take two, and then the two on the left from the other knot. These two will now be our middle pieces. So we'll move those a little bit. And we'll make another square knot. And if you have thicker thread, you might want a little bit more space right here between your knots. If you have thinner, you don't need as much. So just kind of eyeball it. There's one. Now our second row is done and we have one more row to do. So we're going to do the same thing. Two on the left, goodbye. Figure out which two are my middles here. Two on the right, 
goodbye. And now we're left with four. So we're gonna make one more knot down the middle here. Okay, and now we have our main little um, framework ready. And that's, that's our square knots. So now we'll be back for the next part. Okay, now we're gonna start doing the fun part. We're going to start putting on the ribbons. So you're going to next take the we're going to work with the 30 strands of yarn, 15 each of like your medium color and your dark color, the 80 inches ones. So I'm going to start with my dark ones. And I need to get this evened up here again. And we're just going to do larkspar knot, larkspar knots. Reach from the bottom and just pull it through. And again, I do it from the bottom that way so that the knot is nice and pretty on the front so you can see it because macrame is all about the knots. And here you're going to fit four or five depending upon the thickness of your yarn and how much space you left between your knots. Um, there is no right or wrong number for that. And you can mix these up however you want. I'm uh, just choosing to do all dark on my first batch. And then I will do um, a different color on the others. Or mix it up a little bit more when I get down into the other ones. So down behind, loop it through and pull it. Okay, so now I'm just going to go back and forth with my other ribbons and see how many I can add in. And then whatever pattern I do on this side, I'm going to repeat on this side. Okay, so we got the bottom layer done, and you can fill in wherever you want, um, mix and match however you um, want to do it. There's no right or wrong way. Now we're going to take the four strands that we had that were um, 60, or I'm sorry, 70 inches long. So we need a white, or um, and we're just going to put them right on at the end of everything. I'm going to put a white here and then my medium for me it's the beige tan color I'll put two on the right and two on the left and then I will put two on the left and then what I'm going to do next is take these and braid them
Okay, so once you are done braiding these two pieces right here, just bring them together and tie them with a little string in the middle, just like that. And we're ready to move on to our last little pieces of yarn. So now we're gonna use the 12 strands of yarn that were 60 inches wide each. And um, we're just going to put them on in little groups here. So I am going to take my white. I am going to do it like one down here towards the, the front. I'll put two here in the middle and then I'll put three up here at the top. But you can put them however you choose to do it. It is your project. Okay, so I finished up putting all of the extra strings onto the braided piece in the front. <clears throat> I did three, two, one, and one, like we talked about. And now we're ready to trim it up. So this front little piece is just going to be trimmed down however you want to do it um, and however far down you want to go. I'm just going to go at an angle. that and then we'll do the other side and then trim it up so you have a little point and then um, along the bottom however long you want it to be just go ahead and trim it down at the bottom there and you'll be all done okay and then here are the final um, two pieces that I had made that I was showing you before. Um, this is the one where I use the thinner paper. And another thing you can do to give a little bit of different texture that I didn't show you is just take your threads and pull them apart. And it'll give a little texture in here. The two braided side pieces, I ended up braiding them all the way down. I don't know if you can see that from there. And I also took a light and a dark in the back if you see that just to give it a little more definition so you can play around with it however you want but um, just pulling the string apart just gives it a little more um, definition body a little different there so that's it that's our macrame hangers i hope you have fun with it and enjoy your night bye